reasons you should never wear a football visor. That's what we're talking about today, and I'm giving you guys seven different reasons why you should not wear a football visor. It does not matter what position you're at. First off, if you have not seen the reasons you should wear a football visor, I'll link that one down below. We released that a couple days ago. And before we start, it is important to mention that we are sponsored by Shock Visors here at Footballers. We love Shock Visors. They're on all of our helmets, and they'll be used throughout this video. If you want to pick up a Shock Visor for yourself, you can use our coupon code FOOTBALLERS2023 at checkout. Again, I'll link all that down below. All right, let's get into the video. Number one, you ride the bench. Now, drip is a really fine balance. Now, if you have drip and in general, you can back it up. Say, for example, you're a starter, you're a playmaker, then wearing your drip is a lot easier and not as big of a deal. But if you're never getting on the field and when you are on the field, you're getting cooked, having drip is just another reason for guys to come at you. Getting burnt on a route and having a flashy visor in the rear view, you just stand out like a sore thumb on that play. And not all guys will agree with me on this one, but I just think if you're not getting on the field, you want less ammo for people have to make fun of you. So I would definitely tone it down a little bit with the visors and anything flashy if you're not getting on the field a lot. Number two, you can get pulled from the game. Now, if you do decide to wear an illegal visor into the games, you can get pulled out. And to start, if you don't know what visors are legal and not illegal, watch this video right here. Every ref is different and some of them are the old school ones that frankly just don't like visors in general. And it doesn't matter what the rules are, they're gonna pull you out and make you take it off. Now, if you choose to wear a visor like this that borders on the legal and illegal line, this is actually the shock Friday night lights. So technically it is legal because if it's a bright day, it's gonna be clear, but because the lights in my studio it has a little bit of a smoke tint to it right now that makes this visor illegal so risking going in the game with this visor means you could get pulled out of the game and hurt your team if they need you in there so if you do want to wear a visor in game stick to a hundred percent clear visor and that way you should have no issues the next one is going to be sweat on the inside now everyone talks about the coatings on visors now on the outside they beat off rain and on the inside they have an anti-fog for your breath so they don't fog up but no one talks about sweat flinging around on the inside when you're playing football and it's hot out there's a ton of sweat flying around on the inside and that can go all over the visor and get drip marks all over the inside. Now yeah, some of the coatings do help with this, but for example, when I was playing, my running back actually had some hair gel in and that hair gel mixed with the sweat to make this like goopy white substance. Don't, don't. And that white stuff got all on the inside of his visor and he could not see anything. He had to leave the game to get that visor removed. Number four is gonna be scratches. All visors are gonna scratch, you can't avoid that. You can put whatever coatings on this, but the reality is football, you're going against a face mask, which is metal, versus a visor that is some form of plastic. And that means these things are gonna get scratched. It doesn't matter what position you are, you're gonna end up with some scratches on your visor and that's gonna distort your vision for the rest of the entire time you own that thing. Now, if you're rich and you're an NFL guy and they're provided by the team, you can replace your visor every single game, doesn't matter the scratches, get a new one on there and it's not gonna matter. But for most of us in high school, we can only afford one visor. By the time you break that visor out of the box and put on your helmet, don't expect it to last very long without getting a scratch. It's gonna happen. This whole month is brought to you guys by Q Collar. The Q Collar is revolutionary technology proven to help protect the brain from the effects of repetitive impacts that you likely aren't thinking about when you play, but they do add up over time. I'm not going to get too deep into the woods on the science side here because we did a whole video last year breaking down why so many NFL players are starting to wear it. And you can see even more guys have adopted it to keep their head in the game and to keep themselves safe. These days, getting a brand new helmet can cost over $1,000, which is not easy for a lot of you guys to do. And the Q Collar protects the brain in the way that helmets just can't. If you are interested in taking further steps to help protect your future with the Q Collar, visit Q30.com. That's Q30.com. Enjoy the rest of the video. The next one is going to be distortion. Now, all of my shock visors here are a bubbled look, and that's supposed to mitigate the amount of distortion you have. But if you go with something like a cheap visor that's just a flat style, you're gonna have a little bit of distortion when you're looking through it, and things are gonna look a little off. Now, it's not a big deal, but if you're trying to catch a football, if you're trying to do something athletic, you're trying to trace someone, it's gonna add one more level of difficulty to that task. So going with a flat visor is gonna add a little more distortion to your view. It's gonna make it a little tougher to see what you're doing. The next one is gonna be reduced airflow. Now, when I was scripting this video, this was one that I actually saw comp in a lot of places and something I frankly never thought of for myself. Yeah, if you wear a visor and you have a big face mask or something, you're gonna reduce the amount of airflow that can come in when you're running. That's gonna help keep your head cool while you're out there. Reduced airflow coming in, plus the mix of sweat from the outside, honestly, wearing a visor in the heat can be a little bit risky. All right, the last one, cheap visors suck. If you're gonna buy a visor, do not cheap out on these because frankly you're going to do yourself more harm than good and i'm not going to talk about specific brands here because you guys already know the ones we love and some of the ones that we don't really like but if you go with one of the cheap visors it's going to just cause a lot of issues nowadays any company can go to a chinese manufacturer and get a cheap polycarbonate visor that comes in a bunch of different iridium colors slap their logo on it and call it their own brand visor and the reality is those ones are super cheap they don't have the coatings they're a flat visor they're going to be distorted they're going to scratch easy and they're just a low quality product that you're honestly not going to like the moment you get it on. You will put up with it in practice
this because you think it looks cool, but honestly, you're just hurting yourself. They're also a generic shape that's made to fit all helmets, which means getting it on there is gonna be a little tougher. The clips are gonna be really low quality and fitting it around the face mask, you're really gonna have to cinch it into place, which does increase the risk of it cracking on you because you're putting that plastic under pressure. Something like a shock visor here, super high quality. It fits perfect around here. There's no pulling. It's really easy to install. If you do wanna see some videos about how well different visors fit on an F7 and a Speedflex, check out this video and this video. So there you go. There are all the different reasons you should not wear a visor. Now, if you didn't watch the video about why you should, I'd highly check that out next. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time.